Hello everyone, welcome to sixth episode of the Star Wars Tycoon series. So I thought today we'd actually make our way down to the docks for a very, very important piece of progress that I want to get into. I want to start working on things like, you know, more fishing and container moving. It's obviously these packages have expired, but once, you know, they we get some more ones, we can do something with them. And I also want to be able to extend my reach to other islands, fishing, do all sorts, you know, maybe even shipping oil. You know, if I buy some oil there and go and ship it over to wherever I can sell some oil, I just need to find those places. And also I just want to make sure that I can have a bit of variety. So what I was going to do today is start on not a home ship, but a sub vehicle to a home ship it's not like what is that that's an otter a beaver in the water that's a rabbit all these animals are in the water weird well what we're going to do is we're going to start making the hull at least so we'll do that and it's going to be a diesel diesel steam powered one eventually but yeah let's make the hull today so I guess the question is, how containers that way? We might go into here. And we'll see what we can do. Yeah. I feel like that's a good end shape, and then we can narrow it off at the bow. Yeah, that looks about right. So it's like, it's a small but large boat as well. It's not huge, huge, but it's not tiny. So we can take a couple containers, I'm assuming. If I, let's load the preset container. Yeah, because we could put like one there and then put another there. Oh yeah, we'd have plenty of... There is a very, very good chance that we're overstepping the line of what we can do at the moment. And if that is the case, we will just remedy that with cheap running costs and selling fuel. the bridge we'll have the bridge up at the front here space for a couple containers um that stuff there will have living fuel storage all that sort of stuff up front well uh, actually we'll do the bridge last based on the weight distribution of the pistons and stuff like that this is not too bad actually it kind of it curves out the way that I want it to and it's you know it's it's got the shape that I want it to have now the reason that it's quite choppy at the back is actually partially because of shape but it's also because there are more buoyancy surfaces you see them something like this i have to then put two blocks here 
So instead of having this buoyancy surface and this buoyancy surface, which are each a block each, we've got a block there, a block there, and then the contact of the two blocks. So I've doubled the buoyancy surfaces in that area. Um, and so we get double the buoyancy because uh, from contact with the water because that's how this game calculates that sort of thing. Is it dumb? Yeah. Is it the way it works? Also, yeah. So I guess the question is, what advice can I give when it comes to making this sort of thing? And to be honest, I reckon the best strategy, build your way in. So have an idea in mind and then build your way in. Because actually the boats, the easiest thing to do is make the outlines and work inwards from said outlines. If you've got an idea in mind, it'll work. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. Make it rough, you know? Boat hull. Boat hull. There we go. Well, I guess we're going to go and we put the level there. So we actually let's count the internal size so we have a total of 15 it's at 15 there so let's let's get our 15 high rod and let's put some markers of like where we want everything to be so if i wanted i could potentially put a second floor in like that if i made it higher but i feel like for the width that's at at 50 or uh, height 15 with a width of 19 i feel like that's a good ratio so far so maybe if we do that we have a level here that's maybe nine high so we just have a single story on the inside um and we can extend so that if we have our level here we can then have a story that's 12 high, so that's plenty of room for, I guess, medium steam pistons. Oh, that's plenty of room. Good. So we've got plenty of room for our steam pistons, and then we've got two blocks of deck on the side, which I reckon is good. And then we can use that as a bit of a safety barrier, uh, but not only that, there is a jet going over my house right now. This hull costs eight grand so far. Oh my gosh. Half my vehicles cost slightly more than that. Yes, I reckon if we have that as our floor, because then we've also got if we if we wanted to have some regular living space, we've still got three blocks in the bottom that we could use for like fuel tanks and stuff like that. And then for an engine room, we have the full Yeah, perfect. Alright. Let's put in from two from the top just get rid of that and let's put in beginnings of the floor yeah that's a really nice looking boat hull now i guess we got to chuck it in the water and see what sort of I mean, obviously we're going to add a bunch of weight in, so we'll save it up. Let's call, let's find a name for this, and then we will chuck it in the water and start painting the outside so that we can get an idea of what sort of colors we want to work with. I feel like marine mammals might be a smart way to go because it's air breathing. It's going to be using diesel. So, I mean, there's a bowhead whale, but hmm, maybe I need to think of something different. I feel like Scuttler is a good name so sc scuttle scuttler let me just search up scuttler real quick oh my god <laughs> a scuttler is a lad usually between the ages of 14 and 18 <laughs> a scut 
wing consists of fighting. Oh <laughs> no, we're not doing that. You know what? Sea camel. Well, now we've got to spawn this in and we'll put some little paint marks on the side first just to see what sort of height we might want to expect. So obviously with no weight in it, it's going to be super high up. But it looks like despite the fact that it's got no weight in it, it's relatively stable. That's really cool. Is that the... That's the jet fuel gantry. That is super cool. Just flying over. Well, I'm going to say maybe around the, the middle of the orange and yellow mark. And we will draw this line around. And then paint around it. Yeah, that actually looks kind of good. Um, and we can also like experiment with different colors and stuff like that around here. I kind of... No, I'm not a massive fan of that. I think if we stick with that, we could go with that, but that's not. Let's just stick with this. Let's stick with the light blue. And if we want to change it in the future, we can change it in the future. Can I make it on? I can't. Oh well. No, this is quite good. I reckon this will be a really nice boat. Um, it's really big for this stage in the game, but that's okay, because we can always just go and diesel, 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 diesel. You guys aren't going to see that because it'll be me doing it off camera because that's boring. So I'll be doing that as I have been. And um, yeah, see you in the next video where we'll start making some piston engines for this some steam piston engines all right thank you very much for watching everyone goodbye